For the first time, Nicole Kidman, through her company Blossom Films, has taken on the role of producer, as well as starring in Rabbit Hole. It's an adaptation of David Lindsay Abair's Pulitzer Prize winning stage play in which a well-to-do married couple try to come to terms with the death of their young son in a road accident eight months earlier. Aaron Eckhart plays Howie, Nicole Kidman plays Becca. Diane Weist plays Becca's mother, Nat, and even though she wants to help her daughter, Becca is in no space to be helped. There is only one person she turns to, and that's the young man who was driving the car that killed her son. He's Jason, Miles Teller. I remember Nicole Kidman giving one of her finest performances in Jonathan Glazer's 2004 film Birth, another film about grief. It's interesting that she was so drawn to the material in Rabbit Hole. Interesting also that she chose John Cameron Mitchell as director. He's someone much more at home with subversive material like his earlier films, Hedwig and the Angry Inch and Short Bus. But he does a fine job here, eliciting moving and true performances from his entire cast. It's an unsentimental, occasionally amusing insight into two people who don't know how to become normal again. A very affecting and fine debut for Kidman as producer. David. Wonderful performances. And the thing about Nicole Kidman that I've thought for a very long time is that she's a really brave actor in, in the role she chooses yes. to do. I mean, she's, she could have, I guess, coasted along doing romantic comedies and things like that, and she's done one or two of those. But she always seems to have looked out for edgy material, and, and uh, I, I like that about her. I think, that, I think she deserves a lot of credit well, for the risks Well, look at the film that made everybody sort of, you know, to die for. Everybody went, whoa, well, that's, this yeah, that is another level. Well, that was the film level. that sort of really got her. Yeah. Her but, you know, she was willing to go and work for Lars von Trier. She was, you know, all yes, sorts of things. Yes, and that's bravery in that. Indeed, yeah. Um, I, I wish I liked this film a little bit more. I think w the, the thing that um, I didn't quite connect with this was the relationship she has, as we saw in that scene, uh, with the young man who was driving the car. Um, I, I, I found something... And it obviously stems from the original material uh, that didn't quite work for me in that, in that relationship. Um, and that sort of limited my enjoyment of the film a little bit. But having said that, I think the performances are all really good. I think Diane Weist is, is extremely yes. good. Yeah. Um, Aaron Eckhart. And uh, Nicole herself, I think, is, is really fabulous. So do I. But you see, I think there's a truth in this because I think family tragedies, and I know, don't necessarily bring people together. It actually drives a wedge between mm. them because you don't know. You're coping in different ways mm. with a situation that involves you both. And I found something really incredibly moving and true in this film. Mm. I'm giving it four stars. I'm giving it three and a half. I don't see it as dark, but I see it as complex. And, um, and I see it as, as real life. Be like that, that is real life. Um, and there's many things that we have in, in our nature that isn't necessarily um, virtuous. And then there's also things that happen to us in our life that are devastating. And we exist as human beings with a lot of pain and learn to live that way. And that's, you know, things that I want to explore artistically. Tell me, how did you manage that producer-director relationship as the performer? Um, I just approached it as being an actress. As soon as I was in that position, um, I just wanted John to know that I was there to support him and I was just going to operate from... Because once I stepped into the role, I needed protection because I operate from a very raw place when I'm doing a film like this. And I've actually never done a... F I mean, I did The Hours, which was a similar territory for me because I was kind of in this weird place of not knowing how deeply it was affecting me. And this film deeply affected me. And I needed protection and I needed, and he did that. And so I wasn't in a place to be sort of, and I didn't want to be in a place of stepping out of my body and watching the other actors and watching the scenes. It just sort of didn't, that wouldn't work. I mean, I saw rough cuts of the film and gave notes and stuff like that and was very involved in music choices and things because with a film like this, the music can kill it. You know, if it's too heavy handed, suddenly it becomes this very, very laboured melodramatic movie, which is not what we were looking for. The, the thing I love about the movie is the, um, the truth of it and the restraint. I like that these people 
are trying to live and that that's and there's no there's no self-indulgence there's nothing that's um I wanted the truth of the of the people to shine through and I think in the writing that's very there so I just wanted to clear the path for that to to happen and we had lived a bit but a lot of it is most of the script was is how it was written